All right, hello everybody. Eric Marks, FindingMiddleEarth.com. And today I've got another camera bag video for you. So this is the Low Pro uh, Whistler 450 AW, and the AW stands for All Weather. I'm really excited about talking about this bag, okay? I'm really excited about this bag. Let me tell you why. So um, I did a camera bag video, I guess a couple weeks ago now, on the Low Pro uh, Flipside Trek 450 AW. Which I have that one right here, okay? And this one I still have for my Fujifilm mirrorless kit, which if you haven't seen that video, I'll post the link in the, uh, in the description below. There's a um, video that I did on that where I basically showed you my loadout on how I pack all my Fujifilm X cameras in there. So when I posted that video, a lot of people said, great, I'm gonna go buy that bag right now. It's fantastic. Uh, it's just what I need. And then a lot of people said, well, Eric, why didn't you get the Whistler bag? Um, and, uh, you know, I've, I've seen the Whistler bags. I've heard about them. Um, I was just doing a lot of research on the flip side Trek bag because it was just a little smaller. The compartments were a little more tight fit for smaller gear. But then I started thinking, you know, you can never have too many camera bags. So I started looking at the Whistler and seeing all the stellar reviews on it. And then... I got into conversation with uh, the company, Lowepro, and they were kind enough to send me one because a lot of you guys have been asking about it. And um, if I had to buy something with my own money every single time you guys wanted to see it on the channel, I would be a, a poor man. So I really appreciate Lowepro sending this to me so that you guys could uh, see this and see what I think about it. Um, the great thing about Lowepro is that they're one of those companies that allows me to remain unbiased. I'm not sponsored by them. Um, they didn't pay me to do this, so I, you know, I can be honest. If I don't like something about it, I will tell you. Uh, however, I will be honest so far in telling you that I have not found anything I don't like about it. As a matter of fact, I think I like this one just a little bit better now than the Flipside Trek 450. I'll tell you why. So, um, this bag, the material that it's made out of, okay, it's a 420 nylon rip with a TPU coating. So what does that mean to you? It means that this material is insanely weather resistant, insanely rigid, and it's like completely tear proof. You just cannot tear it unless you literally, you know, go at it with a machete or something. Um, so it's a very, very durable material. And the best thing about this material is that I've noticed it does not pick up anything. It doesn't pick up sand or dirt or Georgia clay, because I live in the state of Georgia, so it doesn't pick up clay. It doesn't pick up any dirt or dust or anything. It's just, it, this material is just this magic stuff that everything just falls off of, including water. It just, nothing can make its way inside of this bag, which is what you want. Um, let me tell you one other cool feature about this bag. Let's flip it to the back here, okay, before we start getting into all the pockets, because there are a lot of pockets and zippers. Uh, this bag has these kind of oversized zipper pulls. I don't know if you can see that. Um, as opposed to the flip side 450 here. Okay, let's show you this one. This has these, um, you know, these little thumb pulls, which are nice. They're very nice and very quick. But um, I learned that these oversized zipper pulls here for the Whistler bag are there in case you're wearing gloves so that they're super easy to just yank the zipper off and open up the compartment. So that, it's genius because I wear gloves all the time in the winter and in the fall here, um, or even when I go on winter excursions and these are great, these little oversized things so that if you have gloves on, it's just super easy to pull your gear uh, or to pull the zipper and access your gear. So that's awesome. It still has the active zone technology on the back. So it's very breathable, very comfortable uh, to wear. So that has been great. I've been using this now uh, for about a week and it's been, I mean, it's just been great. So uh, I've taken it on two or three longer hikes and it was actually, it, it worked. It, it, it is very breathable. Uh, another great thing about this bag before we get into it is the fact that there are so many buckles and loops and, and accessory options and opportunities on the outside of this bag. So as you can see here, the first thing, you can put your tripod on the front of this bag on these two uh, big orange buckles here. So you can put anything there, really. Uh, on my first hike that I did with this, I tried putting my uh, Phantom drone on these loops and it actually worked pretty well. Uh, so I put the drone on here. Uh, and it worked. And so I put my tripod in the side pocket on this side. Okay, you can see over here, it's got the top and bottom buckles for your tripod. And then all along the front, okay, if you don't put something on the front, there's all these extra little buckles and loops to, to thread stuff through. Okay, you can thread tons of little accessories through here. Carabiners, carrying water bottles and whatever you want. I mean, camping gear, you name it. It's got more 
you know, loops and stuff on the side, more buckles down here. Uh, one really nice thing about the waist belt is that one side has a pocket, okay, a little zip pocket, so you can put your cell phone or some snacks or something. And then the other side, instead of a pocket, it has more loops. So I have a little uh, low pro lens pouch, which you guys probably saw me use when I was uh, making those Disney World vlogs a few weeks ago, or I guess about a month ago now. And uh, you can thread the Velcro from the little low pro lens pouches through, through this little wet, the waist belt, and you can have more lenses on your, on your waist. So yeah, there's just like unlimited possibility to hang stuff and clip stuff onto this bag if, you know, if it doesn't have enough room for you. So let's go ahead and get into the bag and see how big the, the gear compartment is, because it's big. Okay, let me unzip this. Let's get this out of the way. I think you're gonna be amazed at how much this can hold because the back compartment pretty much takes up the whole real estate of the bag for gear. That, ladies and gentlemen, is room for a lot of camera gear, okay? Uh, so let's get started. In this, I was able to pack uh, my Nikon D810. Uh, I took two Nikkor lenses, and then I took my Fujifilm X22, X-T2 and three Fujifilm lenses and then uh, filters and uh, my lapel microphone kit and a bunch of my GoPro camera. So, I mean, it can hold a lot of stuff. It's a very, very large uh, camera compartment. So while we have this open, okay, because a lot of people wanted me to compare this to the flip side Trek. Okay, here is the compartment for the flip side Trek. Okay, I'm not gonna open it all the way because I have some gear in there, but I'll just let you take a peek. It's about you can see the whole bag, okay, it stops here for the, for the gear compartment, okay? And so it's definitely, you know, a nice bit of room, but this is the, you know, on the Whistler bag, it's the, the gear compartment goes all the way almost to the complete top of the bag. So it definitely holds more gear, definitely gives you more room. And I actually find the Whistler a little more comfortable to wear than the flip side Trek here. Um, which is funny because I would have never known that if I didn't uh, get the Whistler bag in because the flip side Trek uh, was the one that I purchased and uh, it's very comfortable. It's just not quite as comfortable as this one. This one's just, I think, kind of magic to wear. So uh, another cool thing about this is for an extra level of weatherproofing, you have this little uh, flap here that unfolds from this area and you can see you can hide it if you want to, like I had it hidden and it'll actually cover your gear completely you can stick this down in here okay so i'm not gonna do it because it'll take me a minute to stick it in there because it's made for either permanent use out or permanent use in uh, anyway you can cover your gear and then also zip it back so you have two layers of protection there just in case you think water is going to make its way through the zippers or whatever so that is really nice i like that that extra level of protection is there because on some other bags well, for example, when I did the video on the Low Pro flip side Trek bag over here, I showed you that I covered a lot of my gear with microfiber cloths, right? As an extra just step of protection. Well, this is kind of like a one big cloth to throw over the bag. So I love that. That's, that's a super nice feature of the bag that really comes in handy. There's um, little uh, pockets up here for batteries and memory cards. There's a zipper right here that goes all the way down to the bottom for, uh, this is probably where I'm gonna put my microfiber cloths. So that's a nice little, uh, perfect area for that. All right, let's get this zip back up here. Let me feed the, oh, that little flap. It's caught up here, there we go. Okay, so it's got your handle still. A lot of people were asking me if this bag got a handle. It does have your handle. Uh, it has a nice top compartment up here. Let me show you one nice thing. Probably the nicest thing about the bag, if you do a lot of uh, photography in wet areas. If you do rain or if you, you know, if you're in a snowy area and you do a lot of hikes or you have wet clothes or whatever. Let me unbuckle this orange clip here so I can show you one of the coolest things about this bag. All right, so let me explain. This whole front pocket, okay? There's pockets and flaps and a lot of room in here. My, my hand goes all the way to the bottom of the bag. There's this whole section. Why is this section so important? Because this section specifically is completely waterproof and completely protected from the gear part of the bag that's on the other side of this. So this section is specifically for putting items that are wet or muddy in this section that kind of keeps it away from uh, the gear because, you know, obviously there's a lot of camera bags out there that are weather sealed and waterproof, but once you put something wet inside the bag, you know, there's no guarantees, right? Because you've just introduced moisture inside the bag. What's so nice about this is this material 
is weatherproof and completely waterproof and protectant of the gear that's on the other side, you know, the compartment over here. So if I get completely rained out or something and I wasn't expecting it, I can take my wet shirt off and wet, you know, socks or whatever, and I can stick all my wet clothes or wet gear, whatever it is, in here, and I can trust that all the wet gear and stuff that's in here until I get back to my car or my cabin or wherever is not going to make its way into the gear compartment. There's gonna be no moisture because this whole area is completely weatherproof. That is a beautiful feature that Lowepro did that I have not seen on other bags yet. I'm sure there's bags out there that do it, uh, but that is a just a phenomenal feature to have because there have been so many times where I'll take extra pants and extra socks, uh, even if I fall in a, you know, in, in a river or a creek or something, and I've had to change my socks and stuff. And typically what I'll have to do is I'll take a little like garbage bag that I'll tie on the side of the bag and hang my clothes off the side of the bag because I don't want to introduce any moisture inside the bag. Well, with this bag, you can. You can just put it right in this compartment and you can be completely comfortable and at ease knowing that it's not going to make its way to the gear on the other side of the bag here. So that was a very well thought out uh, pocket there. So the top here, okay, very top of the back also has a nice little protected area. All right, let's show you that. So this is great for, um, you know, just the essential stuff, snacks, a water bottle, cell phone, wallet, you know, whatever you need quick access to uh, for the top of the bag. It's also, um, you know, kind of hard. It's very protected. It's got um, a very, you know, hard casing around it. This pocket here has your rain cover if you want it. I have been stuck in the rain once in the week that I've owned this bag, and I did not put the rain cover on it. It was completely fine. Uh, this this material, it just the water just trickles right off of it. So let me tell you one spec about the bag that I don't think Low Pro even says is an actual spec. It's just something that I learned about the bag, and this is something that no other bag that I have has done. Okay, one of the days that I hiked. It was in the high 80s, okay, in the direct sun, no clouds. It was it was a hot day. Typically, when I do when I go hiking like that, and I have other bags that are black or they have that like a matte material, um, the the gear will get pretty toasty inside the bag. You you can feel when you get the gear out of it. You know, if the sun's been beating on your back, you can feel that the gear is pretty warm. Um, somehow, this material is so reflective that it must just reflect off of the sun and keep the heat out of the bag. Now, again, I don't know if that's an actual like certified spec that, that Low Pro markets about this bag, but I can tell you it works because it was extremely hot that day and I have no clue how the gear was not hot uh, because I had, it, I had it on my back facing the sun and then I also had it on the ground like this where the gear was kind of facing the sun. And this material, is I was just noticing it was reflective uh, to where the sun must have just been hitting this thing and just got, you know, the sun got deflected right back into itself and it was just keeping the heat out just perfect. Um, so that is an, another kind of a bonus feature for me about this bag. Um, and then one other thing I wanna talk about, I'm uh, six feet tall and I'm, I'm a heavier guy, obviously, okay? I'm a, a bigger guy. And so a concern for me always when I'm buying bags is how well the belt fits, the belt clips here, okay? Now the belt of this bag actually fits me perfect. And even when it fits, I have a little bit more slack to be able to go, you know, another, I mean, I could probably go up two more waist sizes and this thing would fit me. So if you're a bigger guy out there and you're wondering if the belt is gonna fit you, it absolutely will. And there are so many mountain bags that the belts do not fit. Uh, people that are even smaller than me, I, I never understand that. So. Uh, yeah, the, this belt is very comfortable for all day use and it fit me, which is an awesome feature. Um, other than that, you know, I've, I've just been super happy with it. There's these little zips on the side where you can put extra stuff. You know, a, I don't know, a, a, an umbrella, a small umbrella could probably even fit in there. There's just so many like surprise pockets and stuff that you just wouldn't believe that are that are on this bag that, uh, you know, in the first day of owning it, I was like, oh, whoa, there's another zipper. And I was just like finding all these new secret compartments that this bag has. So there's always, you know, something that this bag will show up that has room for, you know, an extra water bottle or an extra, um, you know, little area for, for snacks or whatever it is. Um, and I've, that's, that I love, you know, the more buckles and loops and extra pockets that, that a bag can give me, the better. So here is the Whistler 450, okay? And here is the flip side Trek 450, okay? So you can definitely see the depth difference, all right? You can definitely see that this one is deeper. Um, and the height is 
almost the same. This one's a little, a uh, little taller. And as far as pockets go, you know, they both have good pockets. They're both great bags. They really are. It's, it's all about uh, what bag you want for the job. So let me, you know, kind of explain which bag I would take for what before I wrap up the video. So Low Pro Flip Side Trek 450. If I was going on an all day trip or just a, a day trip with, and just needed my, my, just my mirrorless camera gear and maybe a water bottle and like an energy bar, I would probably take this one, okay? Cause it's a smaller bag, you can carry my lightweight kit, I'd be good to go. If I was going on an all day hike like I did the other day where I did a 16 mile hike um, and I was even considering staying overnight, no question asked, I would take the Whistler bag. It is completely rigid, has enough uh, enough compartments and room to hang a tent off the bottom or the side. I could I could take extra clothes. I could probably fit almost everything that I needed in this bag. Rain jackets, extra socks, extra clothes, more than enough for just one you know, overnight trip. Um, that's what this bag is kind of made for. It's just, it's awesome. So the bottom of this bag is really cool too. It, again, it just, it does not uh, hold moisture or hold, pick up sand or dirt or dust of any kind. It's just the material that was used in making this bag was just very impressive. Um, you can tell a lot of thought and love went into making this thing. So yeah, that is the Whistler bag. I'm glad I got one in uh, for you guys to see because I since this, ever since I did this, this flip side bag video, I've been getting tons of questions and emails written in asking what about the you know the Whistler bag? Is there did I did I not get the Whistler bag because I don't like it? Uh, no, it's just that you know you, you buy a camera bag for a purpose and then you buy another camera bag for another purpose. So I have a, probably ten or twelve camera bags, um, and this one right now is a beautiful way to go. I'll have another camera bag video coming soon, okay, on a different camera bag, and I'll also have a different video coming on the Whistler bag where I show you my loadout and how I put all my gear in here and what all I can carry in here. I'll just completely load this thing out, you know, from top to bottom with stuff, clothes, snacks, you know, I would pack it as if I were going hiking, and I'll show you what all I can carry. So if you guys have any questions about either one of these bags, please let me know. Again, thank you so much to Low Pro for sending me the Whistler bag and uh, it's going to get some good use out of it. So thank you guys so much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one. If you would like to stay up to date on all of my latest photography videos and adventures, click the big subscribe button below. And if you would like to find out more about me and how to become a great photographer, visit my website at findingmiddleearth.com.